Okay, so this is dog strangling vine. This is an invasive species, and this one's a little bit of a bugger because it mimics common milkweed. So it sends out a same chemical that will attract monarch butterflies. The problem is, is that if a monarch lays its eggs on this plant, when the caterpillar uh, comes up, it has nothing to eat because caterpillars can only eat milkweed. That's the only plant that they can eat. So we need to get rid of this one. But it's very critical as to the timing of when you get rid of it because this plant is quite sneaky and if it has time, it will produce another flower if, if you cut it too early. So what I encourage people to do is wait until you see the purple flowers come out and they'll come out. They're starting to just form underneath the leaf now. It's hard to see, but there is a little bit of purple under there that I can see. Wait until the flower's out and then what you're going to do is, even if you don't have scissors or pruners on you, you can even just take your fingers and snap it off. Don't pull. Pulling can sometimes stimulate more growth and if you cut it at the right time, when it's flowering, the plant will, should not have enough time to produce another flower, especially when it's in shade like this. So when you do pull it out, ideally what you'd want to do is solarize it. If you've got the root on the end, which this one does not, but it's not a big deal if it's not seeding because like milkweed, it comes up with those pods. So the little fluff goes everywhere and that's how it spreads. So if you don't have any roots on it and there's no pod on it, you can literally just leave it on the ground on a path. People will step on it. It won't spread. So very easy thing to do. I will provide some more resources in the uh, description below, uh, including ones to the Ontario Invasive Plant Council and the Invasive Species Center, so that you have all the right cutting edge information on how to protect our biodiversity. That's dog strangling vine choke. Alrighty, cheers.